Hello and welcome to the 21st tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series and in this part we're going to be looking at scaling a sprite. In the previous part we looked at setting the sprite scale but we'll be looking at scaling a sprite in this part. And we'll be using the source code from the 12th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Like we just mentioned, the first method was covered for setting a sprite scale in the previous part of this series and that just basically explicitly set the sprite scale relative to its original scale aka 1 or you can look at it as absolutely setting the sprite scale. SFML provides a second method which allows you to scale the sprite relative to its current scale aka allowing you to scale the sprite multiple times. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. Now that it's opened up what we're going to do is scale dot not scale sprite dot scale and this takes a sf vector to f or two float variables for the x and y we're going to use the sf vector to f and for this we're going to put 0 0.5 and 4 let's just show you what this looks like before we apply the scale and there we go, the original sprite. And now let's apply the scale so you can see what it looks like now. It is stretched and squashed. Or I should say squashed in the x-axis and stretched in the y-axis. At the moment, this may look identical to the previous method. But if we duplicate this method, then you will see that it scales again relative to its current scale. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste this a few times. And now let's just rerun our application. And as you can see, it is <laughs> really stretched. I might actually just remove one of these. This should hopefully be a little better. Uh, let's just get rid of this one. Yeah, this you can see a little better on that. But the result is obviously the way it should be because we're setting the scale multiple times and it's setting it relative to its current scale not absolutely setting it like the previous method. Another thing to note when scaling the sprite for example in a situation where you are doing some sort of animation perhaps you're zooming on a sprite make sure you factor in frame rate to provide a smooth and similar experience on a wide variety of hardware. This will be covered later on in this series though in more depth. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. In the next part of the series, we'll be looking at adding a rectangle shape. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.